Now our last form, number six. Topic is same, first order, linear differential equation. And in last lecture we discussed linear form or linear differential equation or non-exact form. Form number six is considered as non-linear or reducible to linear or Bernoulli's differential equation. Form number six generally considered as reducible to linear. Originally, differential equation is not maintained in general form of linear differential equation, but after substitution, the equation which considered as reducible to linear or non-linear or Bernoulli differential equation transform into linear differential equation in other variable and then we solve by using technique of linear differential equation just in our previous lecture we follow from separable variable to non-exact or the linear the failure condition of partial m with respect to y is not equal to partial m with respect to x then we follow the linear form. So here the original equation is not maintained the linear form. So after substituting the variable equation transform into linear form, then we solve by using linear. So these total six forms from separable variable to reducible to linear. Now the general form as a reducible to linear b divided by dx minus e of x by power 1 q of x by power n n is not equal to 0 n is not equal to 1. Now left hand side exactly same as the case of linear but right hand side expression involving one extra term y power n which maintain the non-linear form with respect to higher degree involving y as power n. n is not equal to 0 because n is equal to 0 means y power 0 1 so this become linear and n is not equal to 1 if you consider n is equal to 1 so this term involved as qx multiply y shift to the left hand side then px minus qx y power so this become separable variable form so only the values 0 and 1 maintain non linear form or reducible to linear so in case of n maybe other than 0 1 as whole number and sometimes the fractional values of n is also involved which considered as reducible to linear. So y power n factor maintain the non-linear form in case of n is not equal to 0 and n is not equal to 1. Now in this situation the how to transform this non-linear form into linear we consider a problem and 
first we write in this general form and then the technique to transform the non-linear form into linear and after transforming the equation into linear we just solve by applying the technique of solution to solve the linear differential equation just after substituting the remaining equation the same as the previous lecture topic linear differential equation so consider example d by by dx y upon x is equal to minus y square upon x square equation already in standard form again I follow the first form the separable variable form you can easily observe if you consider the left hand side d by dx and right hand side as minus y square upon x square plus y upon x now this factor cannot be separated into separable variable x and y then the second is homogeneous now the equation is not homogeneous or you can check this factor minus y square upon x square minus y upon x this is our y of x now the situation of homogeneous function lambda y lambda square y square lambda square y square lambda x and y now this this equation is also maintainable homogeneous form so you can solve this differential equation by maintaining the homogeneous form which is second form because if writing the equation in the standard form of the homogeneous the right hand side function maintain the definition of homogeneous function so you can solve this problem by homogeneous also so in previous situation I consider all the examples such that we observe the failure situation of all previous cases the reason how why I apply this situation because of the previous failure now in this last situation we consider a problem in which you can apply two forms at the same time so this problem can be solved by second form or can be solved by sixth form so it is up to you to solve by this second form or by six after completing the topic but here we discuss the reducible to linear so we follow lean reducible to linear form now equation is not separable variable equation is homogeneous so you can solve by homogeneous now equation is not non-homogeneous because of the homogeneous now the uh, fourth form is the exact form so you can also check the exact situation d y by, by dx you can write as dx factor by both terms like this uh, the situation uh, consider this as left hand side y upon x y square upon x square then dx dx multiply this factor and then give us only dy is equal to 0 this is m and this is uh, nothing then you can write just uh, missing number as 1 which is m so m y you will get m y 1 upon x and t y upon x square and then x is equal to just 0 so identification is uh, the situation of the non-exact or uh, 
because m y is not equal to n x. So if in case of the non-exact equation we follow the linear, but equation is not maintained the general form of linear because of the fact that y is square, n is equal to two. So this maintains non-linear form. So here uh, the two form the separable variable or you can solve by reducible to linear. So we study reducible to linear. So we follow the reducible to linear method. Otherwise, we can solve the separable. Uh, we can solve by not separable variable by homogeneous technique also. Maybe the answer is not uh, the same situation because of the technique of integration is changed. So the verification of answer you can verify numerically. The form of the answer are different, but the result is same. The alternate form, if you consider the c is equal to uh, some constant number, and after uh, substituting the constant number, you consider the value of x, so you will get value of y. The same value of y in solution solved by the homogeneous method, or the solution solved by reducible to linear. So we follow the reducible to linear technique, not homogeneous, just to identify sometime one equation maintain the two form of equation. The equation is uh, reducible to linear. This is not linear uh, linear form. The disturb factor is y square. This y square maintain non-linear form. So first step divide whole equation by y square. Divide whole equation by y square. One upon y square divided by dx. One upon y square y upon x. One upon y square multiply all equation by disturb factor y square so you can generally understand always divide whole equation by phi power n this is disturb factor of the nonlinear to divide whole equation by this to maintain the right hand side term which involve only function of x then simplify first dy by dx then y cancel 1 upon y then 1 upon x this y cancel then y square cancel minus 1 upon x square now right hand side to maintain the function of x but left hand side is not maintain our standard linear form the sign plus is also here now here we substitute z is equal to 1 upon y z is equal to 1 upon y this factor 1 upon y as z to change as z power 1 is in linear in linear form the term maintain px y power 1 but here involve y power minus 1 so to change this 1 upon y this factor as z so this 1 upon y transform as z power 1 so equation become linear in z now after substituting the is equal to 1 upon y definitely the operator dy by dx is also changed because of the change of variable just like the integration you substitute sometime y is equal to sin theta then you write dy is equal to cos theta and d theta the so change of substitution required the change of differential operator now you have a choice you can 
consider dz by dy or dz by dx but generally equation involve dy by dx so if you find dz by dx now operator always y is a function of x then dy by dx y is a function of theta then dy by d theta y is a function of r then dy by dr but here the situation z is a function of y not involving the variable x and we differentiate the other variable so first the applying the chain rule first 1 upon y differentiate as just the derivative of x function and then the further derivative of this y with respect to x just like in parametric form in case of x is equal to sin theta y is equal to cos theta and how to find the dy by dx it's you calculate dy by dx is equal to dy by d theta into d theta by dx or sometimes you write dy by d theta upon dx by d theta situation of the parametric or situation of the chain rule z is not function of x directly z is a function of y so differentiate first z with respect to y and then y with respect to x d y by dz by dy and dy by dx is cancelled so we get dz by dx the so first derivative 1 upon y minus 1 upon y square derivative of this y just consider y power minus 1 then derivative minus then minus 2 or write 1 upon y square then further derivative of y with respect to x to maintain the operator dy by dx now simplify the situation dy by dx situation or determine the mean in above equation 1 upon y square dy by dx completely operator so you can write minus dz by dx 1 upon y square dy by dx this situation or z is equal to x 1 upon y so by using these substitutions this equation now 1 upon y square dy by dx change by minus dz by dx then plus first write 1 upon x or write 1 upon y z then 1 upon x then minus 1 upon x square again I repeat the first term exactly 1 upon y square divided by dx replaced by minus dz by dx after substitution z is equal to 1 upon y and then 1 upon y plus z power 1 1 upon x as it is is equal to minus 1 upon x square now multiply whole equation by minus sign because in linear form our operator d by by dx involved with plus sign so multiply minus sign dz dx plus first write 1 upon x then z then minus sign write plus or minus 1 upon x z and then plus 1 upon x square I write minus here to maintain the standard form of linear now equation reduce into linear in z not in y dz by dx plus function of x this is our px z power 1 and this is equal to 1 upon x square so this is 
linear form in variable z again solve this equation by linear technique and after simplification z again replaced by original variable 1 upon y so you can find final solution now comparing this equation by linear form integrating factor first find integrating factor e power integral minus 1 upon x dx this is our p of x then integrate minus log x then minus shift to the power x minus 1 log and e cancel then x power minus 1 is equal to 1 upon x this is integrating factor multiply whole equation these steps are repeated and just like in previous equation they find integrating factor then multiply whole equation then left hand side become exact differential of u into v u always integrating factor v always dependent variable here dependent variable is z not y because 1 upon y is equal to z so 1 upon x dz by dx minus 1 upon x 1 upon x is square then 1 upon x, 1 upon x cube. Now left hand side maintain d by dx, 1 upon x integrating factor multiply z is equal to 1 upon x cube. Now recall 1 upon x as it is, u as it is, derivative of z dz by dx plus z as it is derivative of 1 upon x minus 1 upon x square so exactly maintain u into the formula now separable variable form differential z upon x then 1 upon x cube dx then integrate so z upon x is equal to integral of this means consider as x power minus 3 then minus 3 plus 1 upon minus 3 plus 1 power minus 2 minus 3 plus 1 upon minus 3 plus 1 power minus 2 upon minus 2 so you can write directly minus 1 upon 2x square plus c power minus 2 and then minus I write as whole expression by minus and this now after substituting after find the result or you can just make some of step I write this step after that I write this step to view now after this integration z Differential of z upon x is equal to minus 1 upon 2x square plus c. Integral of x power 3, consider x power minus 3, minus 3 plus 1 upon minus 3 plus 2 power minus 2 upon minus 2, so minus 1 upon 2x power plus square z upon x, then z is replaced by 1 upon y z is equal to 1 upon y so x y minus 1 upon 2 x square plus c is the final solution or answer of this reducible to linear form so <laughs> i complete all form of first order linear differential equation start from separable variable homogeneous non-homogeneous exact non-exact or alternate form linear and six is reducible to linear now the main question how to identify 
the form in examination or in practice is the problem because in examination the question does not involve the type question is not like find the solution of the following non homogeneous differential equation no question always solve the following differential equation so you identify the first order our topic is first order linear or after this uh, the topic is the first uh, higher order linear so first you identify the main topic the first order linear or higher order linear and then identify the one of the six form if you observe some form directly identify just to concentrate the equation like uh, orally like uh, separable variable form or homogeneous form or non homogeneous form or linear or reducible to linear not any calculation required you just see from just left to right shifting you can easily identify the separable variable homogeneous non homogeneous linear and reducible to linear only exact differential equation required the standard form then finding capital m capital n and then partial derivative m y then partial derivative n with respect to x then you have identify exact or at the same time non exact but non exact is the alternate alternate form of the linear and you can easily identify the linear just write the equation dy by ds px y is equal to qx if y involved with the power other than 0 and 1 so at the same time linear and non linear identify no need to follow by non exact situation so equation separable variable homogeneous non homogeneous linear reducible to linear you can just check orally only the exact situation involve some calculation now i uh, will give you some practice problem reducible to lean
Question number one, two, three, and five are similar form of the general maintain the right hand side of y power n other than value of n other than zero and one. Now question number four does not involve the right hand side as the polynomial function y power n. So the term is involving the non-linear as cos y. Cos y is considered as non-linear term instead of y power n. Sometimes it is not necessarily the right hand side involved the y power n also. So some particular uh, special situation the other than y power n maintain this factor cos of y because linear form involves the right hand side on the function of x. So here involves the cos of y. So the pattern to solve this equation first uh, divide whole equation by tan y to maintain the plus dy by dx tan y tan x upon tan y then cos y upon tan y cos y upon tan y then the disturb factor involving as cos y upon tan y so this completely factor involving as function of y then divide whole equation by this factor then maintain the involving factor here multiple of 10x as new variable z or divide whole equation by this factor only cos y divide by cos y divide by cos y and then maintain the unit b uh, derivative uh, z in terms of cos of y and simplify Thank you.